What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video after we learn how to create railings and modify the railings. So this time around, we are going to learn how to create a room in our project. Okay, so just a bit of a background. A room is a subdivision of space within a building model based on elements such as your walls, floors, roofs, and ceilings. Okay, so these elements are defined as room bounding. So basically, uh, Revit refers to these room bounding elements when computing the perimeter, area, and volume of a room. So when we place our room, and then you select the room that you have placed, you will be able to check out what is the perimeter, what is the area, and what is the volume of a room, as well as you will be able to name each rooms that you have created. Okay? So you can turn on, turn off the room bounding parameter of many elements. So to do that, you just need to go to your visibility graphic overrides. You can type VV. You can type VV. And then after that, you can look for uh, rooms. That's how you control the visibility of your rooms. You can turn off the color fill, in, uh, interior fill reference. You can turn on, you can turn off using your visibility graphic overrides. Okay, and one more thing, you can place rooms only in plan views. Okay, right, so let's get started. So let's create a room. Let me just close this one. All right, so from the architecture tab, the room and area panel, you can see the room here. So I'm gonna select the room. And then when you place your room, you have an option here if you want to place your room automatically. So Revit will place all the rooms in all closed and bounded areas on our current level. Okay, and then you can also highlight the boundaries and then you can also place automatically the tag in the room that you are going to create. Okay, so you can turn on, you can turn off your tag on placement. But for this one, I'm gonna tag this on later on, on another lesson. Okay, so for now, we are just going to create the room. Okay, so just leave it and uh, leave it off. And then from the options bar, so you have an option here to specify the upper limit of your room by level and then you can also specify here the offset and then we are going to create a new room all right so let's get started so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to place the room here so as you can see revit automatically uh detect the boundary of this area here so i'm going to click this one to place the room there you go and then after that, I'm gonna place another room here. And then as you can see, this whole area here from this area is detected by uh, Revit because of this uh, boundary here, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to divide the room in case if it is too large for you and then you want to specify another room on that uh, big area. Okay, so but for now, I'm just going to pick another point here to place the room. There you go. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to divide this uh, big room here because I want that to be subdivided into another room. Okay, so to do that, so let me just select here the modify to terminate the room. And then from the room and area panel, you can see here room separator. So I'm going to select the room separator. And then using the line tool, I'm going to separate it, okay? So I'm going to click to this corner. I'm going to move up and then I'm going to place it here. There you go. So there's my first room separator and then I'm going to select here modify. Now I'm going to turn on the boundary of my room by going to the visibility graphic overrides and then look for the room on the model categories. So I'm gonna expand the rooms here. Let me just check the reference for me to be able to see the room. I select here, okay. 
and there you go so there's the room that we have placed here and then as you can see if i'm gonna click this room so since we already placed here our room separator here so this area here have been separated so if i want to create another space or room here so i'll be able to do that because of the separator so i'm gonna separate again so i'm gonna create a room separator line uh, from here to here because i want to separate this uh space here or this uh area here okay so to do that so i'm gonna select again the room separator and then after that i'm gonna click this and then i'm gonna click opposite side there you go and then i select here modify and then after that so if i'm gonna select again this room here oops this room here and there you go so it's now these two area here are now separated and just like what i have said earlier so when you create your room so you will be able to see the dimension of that room so you'll be able to see the area the perimeter the amount the unbounded height the volume okay and then you can also specify the name of that particular uh, room so you can specify here the name and then you can also specify the number so we have a separate topic for that for now let's concentrate on placing our uh, rooms okay so let's uh, do it again so i'm gonna select the room here and then let's uh, place our room okay so let's click all of these rooms here there you go all right where else so here so I'll place one there okay so that's the reason why it is very important for you to be able to uh, place your walls correctly your boundary correctly because Revit will gonna detect that as a boundary for your room if ever you want to place one which is very important in uh, in your project so you need to place a room okay so there you go so we just place all our rooms so if I'm gonna select or modify so it will terminate now the tool so it looks like uh, a little untidy so that's why usually I just turn off my rooms so you know that already just go to the model categories of your visibility graphic overrides look for the rooms expand it and check the reference and then after that just select ok and there you go okay so there's the room there so if ever you want to select the room you can turn on or you can use filter you can use like this so you can use a crossing selection like that so for example you want to select the room here so you can crossing selection like that and then you can filter you can select check none and then just select the rooms and then okay there you go so you just selected the room there so that's the dimensions of your room so let's say you want to select the room here so you just hover your pointer and then you should be able to highlight the room in that particular space all right there you go so so basically when creating an early design so before placing walls or other room bounding elements in the model you can add rooms to a room schedule and then after that you can place the predefined rooms in the model later after room bounding elements have been added so you can create first a room schedule and then after that later on you can define or you can place the predefined rooms in the model later after the walls the ceilings or other room bounding elements have been added all right so that's it for this simple topic so hopefully you learned something from this video so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day